Childhoods. Hello, I hope you are doing well. Childhoods are something not obvious. And not wrong, but it's almost both. I'll show you. What does it mean? Well, it tells a child's story, which means a piece, funny information, or even a memory. So, what does that mean? That's what a good childhood comes to at the end of it. A childhood, or a good one at least, is all about his thoughts, how he learned and how he was treated, and it it's very essential. Parents have to supervise because it's necessary. It molds a child's love of his parents, thoughts, everything. It all goes back to the behavior and the parents at the same time. Now, parents have a significant role. And there are other things that you will learn. So let's go. What is the importance of the parents? Well, it's the fact that the teaching is wrong. Treat him. The teaching and the treating is wrong. The way you show him the right way is wrong. What defines his road? is the way you show him, the way you teach him. It's basically the way he is treated. The parents have a very like a very very big impact on the child because he learns from them and repeats what they do. So, what do the parents have to do well? If you are a parent, you might as well listen. You have to understand your child. You should see his mindset, the way he thinks, his subconsciousness. Study him in any way possible. You want to make your child be the best? Well, this is the way, I guess. You have to see his personality from your perspective and his if you can. It would be best if you also treated him in the right way. His treatment is vital to his thoughts and his doings are because of his treatments. Another important thing, uh, basically what I said right, right there, was that you have to treat him well, to teach him well, and to show him well. Because anything you do as a parent, he picks it up straight away. He's like, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to put this down like my parents gave me. You pick that up somehow, you have to put it down the way he understands it. The way he could learn and finish uh, anything, literally. Another important thing is the way he has seen your perspective of him. So basically, it's either he thinks you love him or not, and you got to show that you love him. Let him know that you love him so that he will want to continue doing what makes you happy and him happy. The next thing I want to talk about is your behavior and his. So, if he behaves in like a very weird way at a certain age, and you know what I'm talking about, you need to try and understand him. You need to make him isolated, not grounding him, but make him isolated with things that could help him, ideas. In an indirect way, show him the way to go. Show him what he should do, what he could, he would, he wants to do. So... You, you think it's obvious, right? You know, the behavior and everything. Yeah, you might say, the parents, that's all. If the parents are bad, it's right. No, it's also the environment and how he gets treated. That's not all. The last thing in his, is his mindset. Also, let me tell you, you, the parents need to work hard, real, real, and very, very hard for the child to realize that they love him, to make an affection appear. And the affection of love needs to appear on your child's, like, mindset. And you have to do that somehow. Do the best you can. Treat him well. Do everything, everything you can to show him you love him, but you also want to protect him. So not just, hey, mom, can I go to this rodeo alley that's on the other side of the city? Yeah, sure. I love you. Thanks, mom. He goes. He comes back. He has an arm off or something. No, you have to also be responsible. The treatment. Let me show you how to treat your child. You have to study your child. 
or teenager. This goes for all ages. But the reason why is, let me tell you, ages 1 through 18, okay, now, here he is how, you know, he is, and he's grown up learning new things. This is how you should treat him. You need to understand him better after you understood him. You need to talk. You need to become his friend, his own buddy. So, whenever he has a secret to tell, he tells it to you. You know what I mean? You need, you need, 100% need to make him feel at home. So, if he feels perfect, if he feels amazing, if he feels like, Hey, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that today. It's just amazing. That's the affection appearing. And then the treatment comes. So, yeah, he's him. You know, you should understand him, as we said. Talk, become friends. And then you also need to give him space. Don't be his stuck-to-him to buddy. Don't stick to him at every time, every minute, every second. No, give him the space he needs. Give him the time he needs to think, you know. Give him the time to play, the time. You need to always be ready with a schedule because if you start... Showing your child that being proper is the right way to live in life, which is, you need to show your child that the proper way in life of living is to be prepared and proper, like organized, if you know what I mean. So, I just want to say, you have to give him his space and be cool, you know, try to do at least, you know, the things that are trending and the time because this may be all the way to 2020. I have a feeling it's gonna. somebody in 2030 is going to listen to this and be like, wow, we were like that in 2020? What are we now? <laughs> it's a joke, by the way. That's a joke. So, you need to learn to communicate with him, basically what the treatment is. So now that you understand that his thoughts and mindset are essential, how do you show affection? Well, here's how to do that. Don't be the parent who does not communicate with their child. Be the parent that realizes that he needs something before he says he wants it. Because your child says, I want this. Because if you, he says, I need this, you're going to be so... You're, you're going to obviously start asking questions like, Hmm, where do you, uh, what do you, um... What do you, um... Need that? Hmm? Why? No. Tell me why, child. Tell me why. Oh, and then boom, questions coming in left and right. The dude doesn't know what hit him. RKO out of nowhere. The who's hit four question. Boom, punch to the face, slam him down with the why question. Dude, you're literally playing WWE with those questions. Stop it. <laughs> so let him explain before you say anything if he doesn't want to you know to to learn just show him that you love him don't give him the time to think wrong about you let him know that you'll always be there now you're ready to be a parent see you <laughs>